John Overby doesn't carry much physically. Here's some shots I was taking this morning. But mentally and spiritually, it's another story. Changing your thought patterns or, your, or the way you think and the way you look at the world is, is one of the most difficult things to do. The 54-year-old recovering alcoholic set out on a 1,300-mile journey to use his past and others present to educate for the future. At 49 years old, my world came crashing down, and, and I realized that the common denominator was my alcohol use. I came to learn later that I didn't have a drinking problem. I had a thinking problem for which drinking was always my solution. Early last month, Overby took off from Eden Prairie, Minnesota, determined to walk all the way to Washington, D.C. Along the way, he's meeting anyone and everyone touched by drug and alcohol addiction and abuse. The ripple effects that go out from one person who has recovered change so many lives. And the ripple effects from someone who is living in addiction also change so many lives. Fort Wayne marks Overby's halfway point. From here, he hopes to average 20 miles a day to make it to D.C. by early September. 20 to 25 miles a day uh, on anybody's legs, feet, back uh, can, be, can be grueling. The walk for recovery will not only raise awareness, but documents the struggles of addiction and recovery for a future film. I don't write books and I don't paint pictures, but what I do is I, I make films. During his walk, Overby's collecting donations to fund his documentary, The Choosing. I plan to interview at least 100 people who have recovered from addiction and find out from their experiences what it takes to recover from addiction. In Fort Wayne, Drew Blair, News Channel 15.